I'm Rachel Lindsay, Director of Science and Stewardship for the Hill Country Conservancy, and this is Ash Juniper, commonly called cedar, my favorite tree. This keystone hill country species pioneers a forest on barren limestone. Let's take a look. Ash juniper is both a pioneer and an old growth forest species. It helps to build and protect soil as well as hold soil in place. Clearing these trees can result in severe soil erosion. Especially on steep slopes, unprotected soils along with native plant seeds can easily wash away in rainstorms. In extreme situation, erosion strips the soil entirely, leaving bare limestone, which gets very hot during summer heat waves. This results in a hostile environment for most plants, but ash juniper is one of the few plants that can grow. This can give the impression that the low diversity of plants in these environments is due to the juniper. Ash juniper is a quintessential nurse tree for many native plants. Its dense leaves interrupt heavy rainfall and build deep soil. Its canopy provides shade during our hot summers and insulation during winter freezes. Its branches protect plants from being eaten by deer and feral hogs. Many native plants grow under and near ash junipers. Research on the Balcones Canyonlands Preserve has found that juniper canopies actually help oak seedlings survive. Biologists planted acorns in open and forested sites and monitored the seedlings as they grew. Almost all of the oak seedlings in the open sites died during the hot summer months but a lot of the seedlings planted under the protective shade of ash junipers made it. In central Texas, oak seedlings and many other forest plants can't survive in full sun, especially during summer droughts. Ash junipers are the foundation of an amazing and unique forest ecosystem. What can you do to protect these forests? Avoid clear cutting, allow junipers to grow. A few lower limbs and even a few trees may be selectively removed to allow access for planting and seeding with native plants. The cut branches can be placed to protect seedlings, provide erosion control, and add organic matter. Make sure that plantings are locally sourced to ensure the plants are well adapted to your area. Seeding not only increases the diversity of native plants, but also the diversity of native pollinators, birds, and other wildlife. I hope you gained some useful knowledge in this episode. Leave a comment and share with your community so that together we can make a greater impact.